Hey everybody, with the Brandenburg as the final reward in the Pride of Prussia campaign, I think there will be a little bit of a focus on the German battleship commander. So I thought I would go over the commanders uh, that I have and go over their different qualities and kind of give you a little bit of a view of how I think uh, the commanders are set up and what they're good for. Of course, you know, we're looking for open discussion, so you can leave any comments about this in the comments section. Uh, we're looking for feedback, so that would be great. So the first commander is Reinhard Scheer. You can see he has a generic uh, ship marker here. There's uh, no indicator for cruiser, battleship, or destroyer. It's a, a blank slate, basically, and he has skills that can help out any of those ship classes. So let's take a look at him first. His base trait is Fire Alarm. It decreases a chance to catch fire and reduces the reload time of the damage control party. As for the skills, we're going to look at the battleship skills here for uh, Reinhard Scheer. And you want to select Burn It Down XXL, which increases the chance of the HE shells causing a fire. Uh, the contact is eminent. You might want to use this for the Brandenburg because it does have torpedoes. But I think for a pure battleship setup, you do want to use Burn It Down XXL and then crisscross, which will increase the main battery traverse speed as opposed to before it's too late which uh, increases the torpedo detectability range or look at me now the concealment rating which is mostly for your destroyers crisscross will be the main help here for a battleship if this is the only commander you have on the brandenburg this is what you're going to want to select the next skill the third skill i think is velocious rather than hidden threat or back in stock velocious will help out uh, the brandenburg or any battleship with a higher speed the last battleship setup here, the last skill for the battleship setup is reaching out XXL. Range of the main guns will be uh, increased uh, to its maximum here with this skill. Legendary skill, if you have him ranked up to legendary here, I've got fully packed. This is generally what I use for the cruiser commanders, cruiser setup. And so for the battleship, I think you're going to want to select Will to Rebuild. Either one of these is probably okay, but Will to Rebuild is probably more standard. Alright, so the next guy that I wanted to talk about was the Accuracy Commander, Franz von Hipper. And his base trait is increases the second battery range and approves its shell grouping. So this commander will, uh, in addition to being the Accuracy Build Commander, it will also help with the secondaries, which is kind of a big deal with the German battleships like the Bismarck the Brandenburg and the Grosser Kerfurst and probably the Tirpitz and I, I guess the Odin. Uh, I don't have the Odin but I'm assuming so. So the first skill is Flammable Cannoneer which will increase the main battery range and shell grouping for your battleship though you have to keep in mind that it does increase the chance of catching fire for any ship type. And the second skill I always select Gyrating Drill Bits to increase the main battery traverse speed and armor piercing shell damage but you have to remember it is at the cost of decreased maximum speed marksmanship is the third skill which will increase the main battery shell grouping for any ship type but reduce their rudder shift speed and uh, i've you know on second thought uh, this will help out if you want to switch back and forth between armor piercing and HE, but for the most part, I think everyone would really select marksmanship here. And the last skill is reaching out. XXL increases the maximum range of the main battery. You have emergency specialist. This does look a lot like the master mechanic skill, but emergency specialist is the other skill here, or properly meticulous, which would help out the secondary battery range. But for the total accuracy build, I have gone with reaching out XXL, and the legendary skill is will to rebuild, as I talked about with Shear, and to help out with the. Um, Accuracy build, the inspiration is Andrew Cunningham, but I understand not everybody's going to have Andrew Cunningham, uh, but you probably will have uh, Reinhard Scheer because that's uh, the first commander you're probably going to get on the German side. 
So the, the next commander I wanted to talk about is Otto Ciliax. He really is the secondary build commander, even though his base trait is Augur and will increase the AP shell damage of your battleship. The big key to any secondary build commander is Porcupine, which increases the secondary battery range and shell grouping and accuracy for any ship type. So this is what you want to look for if you're setting up for a secondary build commander. And here, a good day's work reduces the damage control party. This doesn't really help out the secondary build. Uh, this doesn't really either. So you really want to look at Porcupine and properly meticulous. These are the two qualities of this commander which will maximize your secondary capabilities here. And as far as the inspirations, I have Barrage which will speed up the reload of your ship's secondary guns on Hans Geisler. That's the uh, German aircraft carrier commander. And then I have Franz von Hipper to really double down on the secondary build which increases the secondary battery range and improves its shell grouping. And we are, when we're done here, we're going to take a look at the Brandenburg with each, each of these commanders and look at what the difference is in the secondary range and reload time. So uh, yeah, so will to rebuild, you might want to pick fight, fire with fire here. But uh, either way, this is really the important idea here on the secondary build for Ciliax is Porcupine and Properly Meticulous. So when you're looking at the commanders of any nation, the one with Porcupine is your secondary build commander, and the one with Marksmanship is the accuracy build commander like you saw with Franz von Hipper. Okay, so then I have Henry J. Hyde, which was which is a Halloween event commander, and he really mixes the best of both worlds, as you're going to see here in a second. But his base trait is Wrenchman Extraordinaire, which will increase your ship's hit points. So, if you have Henry J. Hyde and you want to increase the HP of the ship. Uh, you'll see that. You'll see what this does to the stats on the Brandenburg when we're done here in a second. But for the first skill, Flammable Cannoneer, you know, this is the first skill for Hipper, but it didn't exist in Ciliax. And increases the main battery range and shell grouping of your battleship. And then down here, the second skill, you have Porcupine for the secondary enhancements, or you have Gyrating Drill Bits. So these two are really from... Um, Hipper, and this is from Ciliax, and here you've got Marksmanship again from Hipper. So if you wanted to uh, go with Hipper uh, setup with uh, Henry J. Hyde, you could, but I think most people select Porcupine to really kind of get a hybrid setup here. And here I said Master Mechanic is uh, much different than Emergency Specialist, and it really is. Emergency Specialist here, Damage Control Party Reload Time is improved by 23%. Damage Control Party Duration it takes a hit is decreased by 70%, but, you know, these do kind of look a little bit the same because they have the helmet, but the Master Mechanic is uh, really a big time deal here because Repair Party Reload Time is decreased by 8%. Uh, improved by 8% as is the amount of HP recovered and you get two additional repair party charges. So this really does kind of have a big impact on the repair party here. And then for the legendary skill I've selected Fight Fire with Fire. Uh, remove the damage over time effects from your ship whenever there are three concurrent fires and reduces the damage. And so what you can see here is Hyde really does maximize, maximize your heal. He maximizes or helps out your accuracy and kind of gives your secondary a little bit of a boost if you want to go with properly meticulous here instead of master mechanics. So that is an option that you'd want to experiment with. But that's basically the differences between the three commanders, four commanders here. So let's... Uh, go into the Brandenburg and first thing I will do is take a look at the Brandenburg with Shear as a commander and we'll look at the stats. Hit points is 59,700. Artillery range is 17.4 kilometers. Reload time 26.5 seconds. 
damage, 3600 for HE, 9400 for AP, and you can see the secondary range is 8 kilometers, and reload time is 2.7 seconds and 6 seconds. So, okay, so let's take a look at the next commander, and that would be Franz von Hipper. So let's look at what Franz von Hipper's stats look like. Hit points are the same. Artillery, you can see the firing range goes out to 18.8 .8 kilometers, 26 second reload time. Same HE shell damage, but the AP shell damage goes up quite a bit, 10,340. And the secondary firing range goes up to 9.1 kilometers. And reload time is uh, 2.7 seconds and 6 seconds. All right, so the next guy we're going to look at is Ciliax. Same hit points and the artillery uh, firing range goes down to 17.1 kilometers, reload time 26 seconds, and you can see the HE shell damage is still 3600, but the maximum AP shell damage goes down to 9776, and the secondary firing range has gone up to 10 kilometers, so you do gain a little bit here with Ciliax. Okay, so let's go with Henry J. Hyde and take a look at the stats there. Survivability, the hit points has gone up to 62,920 because of his base trait as we were looking at. And then the artillery, the firing range is 18.4 kilometers, reload time is 26 and a half seconds, HE shell damage is still 3,600, and the AP shell damage has gone down to 9,400, uh, down uh, a little bit from Hipper, which was over 10,000. You can see the secondary armament is 10 kilometers and about the same reload time as with Ciliax. Well, that's my overview for the German battleship commanders. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.